Hello everyone, welcome to Piano Well, this is Emily Yuma. In this series of videos I'm gonna show how imagination singing affect piano playing and help create your own interpretation of music. Musical form is structure of a piece. Students need to develop the sense of form to embrace the whole piece, to keep going through musical texture, to feel the musical story of a piece, and that will bring natural flow to performance. If students don't feel this musical structure of a piece, then their performance becomes boring and monotonous. In traditional way of teaching, students might be asked to play combination brighter somehow or louder and more intense or sometimes softer and more intense but that doesn't really work well because the energy level of the whole piece would be still the same or the beginning of the piece would be too heavy or uh, the energy level would suddenly drop become lighter in the rising to climax section <laughs> Nobody teaches the main secret of great combination. It depends on how well we can distribute energy within the whole piece. Make the beginning of the story not so intense and then gradually distribute energy to bring it to the top exactly in the climax section. So just like in phrasing, musical form consists of two parts, analytical and singing. In other words, students have to understand the structure of a piece very clearly and know how to internally sing, intonate it while playing to convey musical ideas uh, through the playing. Usually two sentences or two periods make a one part of a form. Uh, the large unit uh, that is called either introduction, or beginning, or development, or rising to climax, climax, or conclusion. So by uh, clearly understanding these, fo these parts uh, in the form of the music, student will already have this clear idea of structure of the piece. So that would be the first step. Now, how to convey these musical ideas through playing? Well, as usually, we express this energy through internal singing, through intonation. How to intonate? Uh, please click here to watch the video. I explain very detailed. All right, now let me show you guys how it works. I'm gonna sing one interval, and I will sing it with different kind of emotional meaning. So. The order will be like this. So the first one will be introduction, then beginning, development, rising to climax, climax and conclusion. So I'm going to sing it non-stop, so just try to follow it. And you will feel how my intentions would change vibration of my voice. Okay. So I'm going to tell you the whole story right now <laughs> in this GB interval. <laughs> so. If something really affects our singing, that would also affect our playing. It's because the energy of breath between notes, the way we're breathing while singing, it affects directly the energy in our muscles. So it goes something like this. We sing differently, we breathe differently, we feel differently, we touch differently, and we sound differently. <laughs> Now, let me show you exactly what I mean by saying uh, singing effect playing. So, when I play, I'm gonna internally sing, just like I sang uh, right now. And when I sing, okay, I'm gonna sing right now out loud so you can feel. 
that would be introduction. And while I'm doing this, this glissando with this vibration of this energy of introduction, somehow that energy goes to muscles in my palm that controls my finger and I would as a result control um, touch differently exactly um, the way it would express my singing. <laughs> so uh, that's how it goes. I'm gonna play again the whole story introduction beginning development right into climax climax and conclusion and maybe you will feel the difference So it would change everything, it would change the dynamics, it would change the time, um, it would change the touch, uh, but all together uh, it would still create this uh, store of music under my fingers. <laughs> Again, if I do this with all my intentions, like for example I have an analytical part but I don't sing while playing, then I would, you know, I would use my body like everything, but that wouldn't really affect the sound. <laughs> now, also, please analyze the performances in this piece, and um, the uh, we needed to distribute energy while playing, so our culmination and climax part would sound very bright and very intense, and the rest was just prepare would be just, you know, like preparation for this combination part. So this is how, how I analyze the parts of form. Beginning starts from here. This part development. to climax. and conclusion. When I start playing Naxiur, I'm not giving every of my passion to the very first, you know, playing something like this. <laughs> I'm exaggerating, but it's still, you know, many students play, you know. level of energy during the whole nocturne and it's just so incredibly difficult to listen to such to such performance so please distribute energy of um, of the piece especially such a delicate feel like nocturne and make beginning as a beginning so you intonate it with this kind of feeling you know and then you make development it's in you already can feel you intonated differently then intensification and then when it comes to rising to climax 
you don't intonate it again like beginning otherwise it will be you know like you uh, you know you're accumulating the energy and then just again down so no you still continue you're rising to, to the climax so and you bring it to here this is your combination where you can just you know open up and relax a little bit beginning and enjoy this last um, section because it's not gonna repeat itself anymore so this is the very last moment so just relax and enjoy every turn of music And from here we're starting again um, preparing for our culmination. So this is rising to climax. So you sing and then it brings the culmination. And this is again when you can bring a little bit more passion. Again, I don't really like to play this nocturne, you know, with all my, you know, like, like, um, earth passion. I think this is more like, like I said, E flat major is like another world. So for me, this nocturne is like a dream and I'm like a fairy here, which is, you probably already know just. So it's like a love in the fairy kingdom, you know, in the fairy tale. <laughs> so that's why even if it's combination, I still don't play it with like uh, super passion. I still just, I'm still in the character. It's combination in the character of music. So it's not too, uh, don't give too much pressure over there. Um, yeah, so this is how you can avoid, in other way, how you can avoid to um, play it and feel boring and um, and audience feel boring while listening so like again again this melody again this melody so this is the way how you can make it every time be um, the song and play a little bit differently that's it it's that simple and in my last videos of this series I believe um, I will show you how to express emotional image of music through playing because we all know we can feel so much about music, but we would express so little. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.